What's going on folks, this is Jagos and we're going to be talking about marketers in the gaming industry. It's kind of to sit here and begin to continue the gaming stuff that I've been doing while also trying to link this back to the identity politics video that I recently did. Now I wanted to sit here and I couldn't decide if I wanted to just do identity politics by themselves versus doing it as part of a marketing gimmick. When you look at what marketing is about here in the gaming industry, the fact of the matter is, it's about sitting here and making an irrational, basically an irrational decision on the types of games you play, on the types of critiques you're going to have, criticisms, comments, commentary, etc., etc. For the most part, when you're talking about gaming industry politics and gaming industry economics, marketing is a very strong factor as well as what the developers do. So marketers basically come off as the people that sit here and care about profit the most because that directly affects their bottom line. Now when I did the Inafune report, I also talked about how to shack food your fan base. This was coming from main event and I'll have the link in the underbar to both my video on it as well as main event which I used because he was doing very good journalism on it. What was happening basically was that um, the advertisers and the marketers were trying to make money by using Shaq's money to fund Shaq Fu 2. And so you can get the full story there, but my point is that marketers care about the money the most because guess what? They get a cut. Now, when I looked into the Inafune report and I was creating this, I also looked into DDM, the agency. That's another marketer. And what they basically did for those that don't know is like Ben Judd is now a CEO of or whatever he is of DDM agency. Now what these marketers basically do is any big business they sit here and take a cut to take money from the publishers and developers to basically do the things that they want to do. But they're really not anything more than financial leeches in my opinion. Now the reason that I have this opinion is because a lot of marketing sits here and gets you a lot of brand recognition and what that brand recognition basically pays for is that other games, other products that you put out is going to be known through a wide audience but I don't think that's necessarily the thing that will make you a lot of money because one of the biggest people that were, that were being leached off of by DDM Agency was THQ before it went under. Now, nowadays, excuse me, you have Deep Volition that's a result of basically THQ, THQ going under, but the fact of the matter is they didn't really need DDM Agency, and what they do is just promote which um, hedge fund or which publisher do I want you all to see here, which publisher is going to make me the most money. I mean, they take 5 to 10% of the profits for what? Sit here and connect, make a network? You really can start doing that yourself and make uh, games directly. And then if you really want to sit here and cut out those middlemen, you just go to an E3. Whereas smaller businesses, they're going to have a lot more power with word of mouth advertising over what's going on right now. For the most part. Let me try that again. For the most part, the fact of the matter is marketers are not necessarily needed, but they do serve a purpose and a function. And that main purpose and fu function is to distract developers with different types of schemes to make more prof make more um make more make more things and then try to say, well, this is what gamers want, etc. 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 versus what they do for the most part is just try to make as much money as quickly as possible. They're not as important as publishers. They're not as important as developers themselves who are just a, basically the workhorse of the gaming industry. But they do do something and that's why I mainly wanted to make this video. Now if you want to sit here and learn more about it, you can learn specifically about DDM Agency and the Inafune Report or just learn about what they do un on unethical grounds with the Shaq Fu video that I'm going to be showing in the future. Now this is going to be a shorter video not because 
because I don't really care about the marketers, but I just want to sit here and tell you what their tactics are and what they do in terms of relation to publishers and developers, which is the really an important thing that you want to understand here. I'll probably have a more detailed list, but I kind of put all of my eggs into the identity politics basket because that's how they sit here and divide when they're um, basically that's what they use to divide and conquer people like um just an example silverlight when they were cornered and trapped they started sitting here and throwing out that gamers were misogynist to distract from what they were doing while they sat here and hid and covered up what they were doing because a whole bunch of people were looking at them all of a sudden on august 28th of 2015 16 14 you see this whole gamers are dead article nonsense and that's basically what they do marketers really don't do much they don't have a lot of money they just make money off of the publishers and then on top of that the developers themselves not directly but this is the kind of stuff Anita Sarkeesian she's a mass marketer and she doesn't really play video games she had to learn a lot about them I've made videos on that I have four of them Go watch the um, case against Anita to see more about that. The main point is you don't listen to the marketers, but they get a lot of money to sit here and make you make irrational decisions. So if you want to learn more, naturally that that identity politics one, it'll, it'll say a lot more. So talk to you again. Talk to you all later.